Welcome back to Under Oath. Christmas comes. You have this monster Thanksgiving. Yes. It's crazy. Now, Christmas has to be a letdown for you. We, okay, we, because I cook and I go so hard for Thanksgiving, we do not yeah, You need cook. a vacation I, from yes. your culinary. Christmas is my vacation, culinary vacation. I don't cook on Christmas. We order food in. So what do you normally order on Christmas Eve? It's normally Spanish food. Yes. Because I'll tell you why. All the restaurants, most restaurants are closed on Christmas Day, but they're still open on Christmas Eve. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Spanish traditions, most Christmases are celebrated on Christmas Eve. Right. So we get our food that day. We get a plethora of food. We get so much food that for the next day on Christmas, we eat leftovers. Now, I have a question. I have many answers. As the gringo in the room. Mm -hmm. um, we acknowledge you. Pollo Tropical. Yes. A lot of Spanish is that the there. Burger King of... Or is that because they they actually have good chicken? They it's delicious. Okay, chicken. so I don't consider it fast food. When I, and I'm from Miami, because they so I've gone to some yes, great Cuban restaurants yes. and everything else. But pollo is some good actually chicken. Some, some pretty good, good chicken. chicken. When I go there, uh, most of the time, wherever I go, wherever chop a grill I may walk into, it's all ran by Spanish people right. first off. And when I look around the restaurant, most people are Spanish. So I'm going to take the local people's word for it, and I'm going to say that's some good chicken. Well, I drive all black. That's funny. <laughs> I wish I was being straight. I go to it all the time. Gotcha. And I'm from Miami. I'm going... <laughs> Seems a little bit of you know, but but I would love to hear from people out there, I'm man. Because I don't that's think some it, real chicken though. Yeah, that's some good chicken. It's fresh, everything else like that. But it's a good but restaurant. Where do you you don't order for like you have to order from a Uni super? Uh, yeah, we go to a place. It's a a pretty well known supermarket, Spanish supermarket. It's called okay. Unidos. 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 It's in uh, Osceola area in Kissimmee. Is that like multiple ones? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what Uno. I should or know is that the name means. of the woman? It's, it's, I'm like going. Is that like is that like the plural word for Uno? I don't Unitos? think so. No, not at all. No, it does sound like it, it sounds does, pretty good. Well, you almost got away with that. I almost gotcha. did. That but Babel it, course I'm taking isn't paying you're off. So funny. It's all a Spanish right. supermarket there actually, you and you can go in there and they That's have the girl's name. That has to be the woman's name. Unidos or the last name? No, Os is, is Juan is, Unidos is, is masculine, something. isn't it? The Os. It might be the last name. Maybe. Like Juan Unidos or something, and they just call it Unidos. I'll go with that. We'll just make up a guy who owns it. His name is Juan Unidos. God, Great are, guy. Love we him. are plugging them more. We you, are, guys, you guys owe me a free, free chicken. All, yeah, free, 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 free Pollo Tropical. So you guys can order your food from them, and they'll have it ready for you in to-go tens. So you can just so walk they in. Cook it too. They cook everything oh, for you. Man. So you pick it up hot, ready to go. And you can order it ahead of time at a certain time. So, so do you pick, pick it up, or does Michelle pick it up? Uh, are, actually... It's now our kids' job to pick it oh, up. You send, you send yeah, the kids. That's it. You trust those kids not to go into the bags? Oh, I, yeah, they're good. I don't trust kids. You don't <laughs> trust them. My kids are tw in their twenties. They're not reaching in that bag. No, no. Like, what's in the bag? No, no, I don't. It's like it's like Burger King. I used mm -hmm. to. My mother used to have me hold the bag in the back. Ooh, you and ate she, all the fries. Oh, I was bad. Or she'd ask for a fry, and I'd take it. I'd bite half of it and hand it to her. <laughs> and seven times I did this to her. And on the seventh, she goes, "How are these fries so small?" I'm going. Size, size doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, so, so yeah. So that's your tradition. Yeah. Okay. Christmas Eve for me. Again, I choose to be alone. You, you're alone on Christmas Eve? Well, or whoever I'm with. Okay. Um, but I know this is going to sound nuts. I like nuts. Waffle House. I'm with you. I do. Wait Christmas, a minute. I do Christmas Eve at Waffle House every year. And I'm the only one in there, or with whoever I'm with, and we, I ordered the All Star. All I Star the, Jam. I, I had this thing perfect. Yes. I'm the only one there, and it is ungodly peaceful. Mm. And I'm thinking to myself, and all the ladies are really nice. Look at that. And let me just make it clear, I, I'm a great tipper, but Christmas, I'm a really good tipper. Really. And so it's just you, the and waitress, whoever, or the grill and, cook, and, and his whoever, parole officer. Yeah. Are there? And whoever I'm with. That's awesome. Yeah. And. Uh, it is the most peaceful environment you could get. And the worst part about this, anybody I'm with always says the same thing. That sounds stupid until they're there. I love Waffle House. Going, this is brilliant. Yes. So that is my Christmas tradition. First off, Waffle House is underrated. They cook your food yeah. to order. Yeah. You get fresh food when you go there. Blueberries. I do the blueberry on top. Mm. Got to do blueberries. Mm. I do. And the best thing is whoever I'm with, normally they don't want the pork product. So then I get the bacon and the sausage. It's the best 
bake it. Women don't do it. They cook it. Women to don't order. do it. Oh my god. Women look at you. Go. Hey, you want the bacon? Yes. I yes, do. I do. And Thank I don't you. want grits or hash browns. I don't want to. I said, what, which one are you? Which I'm having hash browns. So you order the grits, mm. and and then I get double sides. Oh man, the hash browns. I am brutally sick. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. I get home, I'm like laid out going, Yeah. I can't believe I hate that. Mm -hmm. I'm not 12 anymore. No, we're not, but it's still good. But great. I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm fighting the power. Gotcha. You know, that's, that's, my, that's my, that's my, but, but let me my ask Black you, Panther moment. Let me ask you a question, though. At the holiday season, how are you when it comes to, to gifts? I'm the best. I was going to say that. No. Yeah. People don't know this about okay, you. Okay, guys, when I say that, this is an ego thing. I take care of people. May I speak on your behalf? I don't know. Let me tell you oh, why. Go ahead. Jeff, since I've known you a short amount of time, I love you like a brother, man. You've been nothing but kind to me and my family. First off, when I first met you, I told you just in passing about my son and his court case, his accident he got in. You're like, James, just send me this stuff over and let me take a look at it. You didn't ask for anything, but you helped my family out immediately. That was a gift into itself. Thank you so much. Then we were talking about the Wu-Tang on one of our radio episodes. Yeah. And he was like, you know what we should do? I'm like, what? Let's go to a Wu-Tang concert. This man right here, Jeff Kaufman, went to a Wu-Tang concert. White. Went to Wu-Tang. <laughs> With me, we got to see Nas. Uh, 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 hold, hold on, hold on. Okay, gotcha. You and Ken. Me, Ken, you and, and Ken Miller. Yes, yeah. We had the best time. We Let saw, me make it clear. Go this. ahead. They had alcohol. We, and, yes. and they were different size fish bowls. <laughs> There's a little one, the middle fish bowl, and the big fish bowl. Yes. I go. You know what? Let me get the middle fish bowl. We go into the concert. The concert starts. Six guys come out, and they're yelling at me. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> they're not. They were yelling at me the whole concert. <laughs> And then it got worse because James and Ken now start yelling at me too. <laughs> and I realized, oh no, this is a song. This is a song, yes. This is this yeah. is how crappy I have been to every black man I've ever met. That's so funny. And, and he didn't have the fishbowl, he had a fish tank. Oh, okay. And, it was and a I huge realized drink. as I killed as the songs got a little more aggressive, I realized I was drinking more aggressively. You were. <laughs> you were and then I fact. said, I'm gonna need another one. Yeah. And, and I went back and I got the full size fishbowl. You did. And I'm going, I was going, now that I wasn't feeling any pain. Yeah. You, you were not feeling any pain. Uh, but it was I, a great night, though. It you was a fantastic You experienced some, some great things. You saw Nas. I, I also bought you guys Wu-Tang T-shirts. T-shirts, so you guys had something to go with he, it. He, not he, like Kmart Wu-Tang. I'm talking no, this concert Wu-Tang. Concert Wu-Tang shirt that I can't. Not Amazon Wu-Tang. And I get comp. so many compliments on that shirt when I wear it because people who listen to Wu-Tang really love it. And when that. I wear mine, people look at me, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> also, I have started riots and in, I will, certain, in certain neighborhoods. And I will say this. You are a giving soul because... Every comic book movie that comes out, sir, you will rent two theaters and give away free tickets for people to come and enjoy themselves. Listen, it's I I've, I grew up in a different environment. Okay, where you didn't see a lot of generosity from people around you, mm. and I always used to say this, and I, my friends are the same. I treat them the same way. If I have it, you have it. That's beautiful and and rare, by the way. And if I. I could spend something on on myself, and I, I buy dumb stuff. I mm -hmm. buy Jordans all the time. I buy shoes. Um, but when I see something for somebody else, I go, "This is cool." Like one year for the monsters, you know, when we were when we, everything was great, I got everyone a cool gift for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I remember, um, you know, I got uh, I got Ryan, who's a comedian. I got him a signed George Carlin book. Which is amazing. Which and it was numbered. It was. It wasn't a fake signature. It was a real one. I got Carlos his book where his character was created in Walking Dead. You know. That's also amazing. So, and I believe I gave Russ the uh, uh, the cover that we used for the book. Hmm. So, but I mean, and Angel, I forgot what I got. Angel something cool too. I forgot. But I, I like to tailor gifts to the person. You do. I I think in the grand scheme, everyone does what they can. Mm -hmm. And I I I've had people around me do some ridiculously generous things for me mm -hmm. in my life. And mm -hmm. some things have fallen into place because of it. Mm -hmm. And I've looked over, I go, geez, there's nothing I could give out to justify, you know, some of the, you know, even with Jacob sometimes. Yes. You know, uh, Jacob's on the spectrum for those new listeners. And there are days that, there are tough days with him. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just look over at him. I'm going, you know, I'm so fortunate to have him Absolutely, in my world. Absolutely, bro. Because the best reminder I have not to be a jerk off is to look at my son Amen. and go, the better person I am, the more likely somebody will be better to him. Amen. 